Without a deal in sight, longshore workers at East and Gulf Coast ports could go on strike Tuesday. They're demanding higher wages and a total ban on automation. Wave News reporter Logan Baron tells us how the impacts of a strike could strike close to home. Hey, well, Alina, that deadline, we're less than an hour away from it, and it's likely that it could impact tens of thousands of dock workers at ports across the country. An economist at U of L says temporary closures of those ports could force us here to open up our pocketbooks and pay more. With a midnight deadline approaching, tens of thousands of dock workers are preparing to walk off the job at ports across the country from Maine to Texas. While far away from any major ports, UofL economics professor Joshua Pinkston says people in Kentucky and southern Indiana will notice the impact. It's going to be bad. Uh, it's going to be expensive. People are definitely going to feel this. Pinkston says it's unlikely the companies agreed to a ban on automation, one of the union's demands. Shortages could soon hit perishable products like coffee and some fruits, and an extended strike could lead to shortages of certain cars. It's going to affect uh, companies, manufacturers, supply chains. It's going to affect things you see at the grocery store. Or, you know, a lot of what you buy as a consumer, you're going to see be more expensive. Patrick DeHaan with Gas Buddy says consumers shouldn't worry about a major price spike at the pump related to the strike. It's going to have a, a potential major impact when it comes to some of the goods you buy, but thankfully gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and oil are largely going to be unaffected by this strike. Experts say the work stoppage could still cost the economy between several million to a few billion dollars each day. Pinkston says the longer the strike lasts, the longer its impacts will be felt. It's a bigger s disruption to supply chain, a longer disruption to supply chain, more having to reroute, kind of move things around. It's, it's going to show you how important trade is. Now I reached out to the Louisville Riverport Authority for a comment on this story, but have yet to hear back. Logan Perot and Wave News.